Hey guys, this is Just One Guy, and I'm back here with my Evolve Die Repeat Project. Now, the reason I went back to this project was I wanted to finish at least one game completely just to see how everything is and uh, get used to finishing projects and going through all elements of game development. And so this weekend, I decided to work on the sound for the game because I only got a little bit to go. Just fix some abilities and then add the sounds in. And basically, I'll be finished after that. Uh, but that turned out to be a lot more complicated than I thought. I didn't actually realize how much sound you have to add to a game. I'm just going to go in and uh, play it. Now, when I first originally uh, was doing this, I thought I just had to put some sounds for the characters fighting and everything like that. But I didn't realize that you have to put in uh, menu sounds and everything else. So, this is going to take me a lot longer than I originally planned. And that's one of the things that you never really realize when you're uh, developing games. Something seems simple at first, but then it turns out to be vastly more complicated than you expected. If I go close, you can hear them, uh, their footsteps. Now the reason I set it up so you couldn't hear it far away is just because it became kind of annoying and unrealistic. So the closer you get, the more you hear the sounds. And it's not a lot of work, but uh, that actually took me a long time. It wasn't uh, just setting up the sounds. It was uh, finding the correct sounds because uh, adding the wrong sounds could be a lot more annoying than you uh, would think. I also plan to change out all this uh, level geometry right here. I'll probably leave the floor just because I like the effect of uh, the floor changing colors. But the level geometry I'm definitely going to change. And I was planning on doing that this weekend, but uh, adding sound to the game took a lot more time than I uh, originally thought it would. Let me just uh, move this menu, just so it's a little more visually pleasing. Other than that, the game's the same. I've just been uh, trying to work on the sound because it's one of the last things I have left. After that, I plan on adding some more abilities, and I won't be uh, working on this project so much because it'll basically be complete. But I just wanted to get some more experience with uh, finishing the game because I noticed I start a lot of projects, but I don't finish a lot of them. And that's because I get bored with them or I just don't feel like working on them anymore. And it just works a lot better for me if I work on multiple projects at once so I can uh, just change things up every once in a while. And uh, I thought this would be easy to go back to because I thought I could just finish it real quick. But uh, it actually turns out it's a lot more complicated than that. And uh, going back and uh, fixing up the game, I actually realized there are a lot of problems. There's just a lot of things I could do better. So uh, one of the other things I'm going to improve real quick is the AI to make it choose better abilities that's uh, more suited for its playstyle. Originally when I created this everything was at random and so that means like uh, the AI will suck a lot of the times But I can make it a lot better and I actually did make it a lot better, but I accidentally deleted that file yeah. You see I made a bad choice there. I like that uh, absorbing uh, Puppeteer character because he uh, if you have a hero on the other side, he will steal him first Anyway, that's what I've been up to, trying to finish that. I also started a new project, which I'll be uploading to the channel uh, in a while. And that was just something, uh, one of my side projects. But I'm just mainly trying to finish this right now, just so I could have at least one project finished before I move on to the next one. I also updated the uh, Pyro character. Now he just leaves a little trail of fire. Which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, later on I'll be adding an actual fire superhero to here. So uh, I'll give him that ability instead of uh, this Pyro character. And I don't know what they were doing right there. They just ran out of the middle of nowhere. And they chose the uh, Psychic Superhuman ability. So they're way stronger than my people. Uh, 
and I kind of like the way the pyro character looks, but I don't really like the way that fire looks. But uh, this is designed to be played on uh, mobile and on uh, PC too, so I didn't use the high definition uh, render pipeline. And uh, one of the things I found out is it's good to uh, build for mobile too because you can test the game. And what really helped a lot with uh, improving this game and uh, a lot of my other games was just play testing on mobile. And it might not seem like a big thing, but being able to just uh, deploy your game and play it at any time, anywhere, it, you learn a lot about uh, a lot of the gameplay, a lot of the mistakes you make. Because uh, just playing on mobile helped me improve like things like the camera and character movement a lot more uh, than anything else. So anyway, that's what I've been up to, and I should have this finished by uh, next week, and then I'll be uh, I'll go back to my superhuman project, and maybe start working a little bit more on my new project. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.